Yo, it's your boy who the fuck is Jay, and I'm back with another video. Okay, underbelly white. Okay, yeah, I'm finna watch that pinch and pros. Ooh, I went off beat. Went off beat. I was getting it though. I was getting it though. But I'm finna watch that pimp and prostitute interview, Master Jay and Lil Mama. And little mama, and little mama, and I hope y'all had a great day, cause I did, nigga, cause I did, nigga, I did, I did, I did, I did, God damn me, hey, like, share, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notification bells on, you feel me, you feel me, you feel me, you feel me, I'm uploading all videos tonight, bro, I'm motherfucker, Wi-Fi was tripping, I'm motherfucker, slow as hell, slow as hell, Slow as hell, I had to restart that, put that motherfucker in my room, oh god, look, that motherfucker say just upload to YouTube, completed about time, nigga, like, damn, like, damn, it should be another one popping up in a minute, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna get to it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Yeah. Sit up straight, baby. Why you kissing a prostitute though? I thought you was the pimp. Why you kissing a prostitute? You know she been sucking a lot of. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's another one in South Central Los Angeles. That's crazy. Alright. Is this right, where they located? Jay though? And Lil Mama. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where are you guys from? Well, I'm originally from Galveston, Texas. Uh, Ooh, damn. Ooh, wee. Um, Look at her chest. Been out here pretty much all my life. I've been all over um, California. The fuck was that? <laughs> that perk. That's what them perks do, them drugs do. Y'all better stay away from that shit, man. I keep telling y'all once and for all, bruh. Stay away from them drugs. My partners be doing drugs. I, I, I'm telling y'all, it's a new year. I'm not doing no weed. I'm not drinking. Y'all need to stop anyway, though. Um... Where'd you, where'd you grow up? I grew up in um, Inglewood, California. Inglewood? Hey, no, I'm from, where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Ohio. Okay. Ohio and, player. Um, okay. So, Lil Mama is one of your girls. Mm -hmm. This is my bottom. It's your bottom, bottom bitch, as you say? That's right. And how many girls oh. do you have? I had at most it's five. Right now, I only have three. And... Uh, how did you guys grow up? How did you grow up, Master Jay? You... Well, I grew up homeless. Well, I grew up with a with single parent. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, I just wanted to find out what was going on. I went, you know, found some friends and then run across. You know, I had my first hoe at the age of 13. They were 16 years old. Damn! <laughs> Damn, okay, okay, okay. No cap. 13, six, they 16, his first hoe. Okay, hey, hey. Hey, even though this is bad, but hey, 13, you 13, shit, he got, he got game then. You see what I'm saying? I used to have them go up in the school bathroom and turn tricks and give me their lunch money or whatever else they have. And where did you learn that that was a possibility at 13? I, I, I met a pimp down there on Figueroa. He was my friend. He took me under his wing. I needed extra money because my, my mom couldn't give me everything she, you know, I wanted. I had big dreams. Big dreams. She big couldn't dreams. fulfill it, and so I wanted to help the household. Okay. And that's where it got the idea at right there. Mm. And you've been doing it ever since? I've been doing it ever since. So the arrangement, little mama, is what? You give Master Jay all, all of your money? Pretty much. I mean, he, see, I don't mind giving him all of the money because he also, when I give him all the money, he gives me money too like for myself he takes care of you yeah so pretty much you know um she's starving yeah. to him because he you know is in control of you know making sure we have food and and clothes and toiletries and stuff like that because we're homeless you know and um it's what you call i'm just a business manager right there i'm not no pimp i'm not no player i'm just a business manager what it is, I make sure well, she business has what she needs to do what she gets. Yeah. Earn, I just get a percentage of what it is. Percentage, okay. I see how you like to call it player. You really, you, you're a pimp though. 
You getting it? You going to jail, Master J? Tricks. I am. I am the one. No, I'm just playing you with you, bro. And I have. Down. I have. Yes, I also. I also have associates to handle such. So you're you're a little bit of protection for her as well. Most definitely. No one messes with Master J's girls. Mm. In, have you done prison time? Excuse me. Have you done prison time? I mean, I answer that question. Okay. And if little mama gets arrested, which is not such a... She's well taken care of. Yeah. Not really. And how much, how much will you make a night, little mama? It varies. Um, I'm, I made... Like, why, why are you trying to whisper? You got the mic, nigga. You over trying to whisper. You know damn well y'all made no 1500 a night. Nobody want her. Nobody want your girls, Master J. You play it out since the 80s, loke. Since the crack epidemic, nigga. You ain't, nobody want your ladies, bro. Look at, I, I ain't gonna fake it, bro. Who want this, man? Who want this? I ain't even trying to be funny, though. Come on, man. Look, her chest all messed up right here. It's just all bad. We looking at you, you supposed to be in a, in a nice look. Suit, goddamn me. You wearing Coogee, nigga. Nah, Coogee probably that shit, though. I don't know, I haven't worn that in a long time. But nah, man, you're supposed to be dressed up. Oh, nice chain. Your teeth supposed to be fresh. Your teeth buttery as hell. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't doing it right, man. It's like five um, to, to a, a rack. It's like five to a thousand. But um, I make like $1,500 to $2,000 a day. Oh, really? Sucking who dick? Anybody let you suck their dick? Who you, what you doing? Have you had bad, bad experiences with some of the guys that pick you up? Mm -hmm. What kind of stuff has happened? I mean, I've had them play games with me. I mean, you know, I don't know what the intentions are, but like... She ain't getting to it, though. To be honest with you, so. I did a date the other day for a couple hundred dollars, right? And, um, you know, come to find out they were all fake 20s. Damn. They were fake money. Yeah, so I was, you know, it kind she of high, bro. pissed me off. But I guess that's how life is. And you've been doing this since so <clears throat> long, little mama? I've been pretty much all my life. Um, what age did you start? I started like I ain't gonna fake it. That water look cold okay, and refreshing, my boy. I had my son at the age of... 18. 18. Okay. So, I pretty much uh, got out there at 19 years of age. Damn. And I'm 43 now. Y'all really think she's 43? I really think she's 43. She can't be 43, bro. This is what crack do to you, man. This is, this is what crack do to you, bro. She can't be 43. I don't think she's 43 though. I don't I don't think she's 43. Y'all think she's 43? I don't think she's 43. She capping. She fucked up to be 43. It's all fucked up. Uh, but that's what crack do to you, bro. And drugs, man. Tell she me about how you grew up. You had, you had both parents? Uh well, the thing about that is that <coughs> she divorced when very early. So I was always moving around. You know, I went from staying with mom to staying with dad to staying with grandma, you know, yeah. having, um, mm -hmm. you know, step parents and, you know. So, I mean, it, I can't say that I was, I was poor, you know, but it, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Any abuse when you were a kid? Um, Physical, sexual, anything like that? No. And Master Jay, what, what personality traits do you have that help you do this? Not, not everyone can be a pimp, right? I know everyone can be a pimp, no. Pimping ain't we easy. Do, well, see, I'm, 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 I'm more of like a, a service. I like to consider myself just a you know, service to the public. There's a lot of lonely men out there. There's a lot of people that like coming, you know, the men and women. And like coming, I've always been a people person. So what I do there is I just, you know, give them what they need. 
but they can't find on their own. You know, this to bring joy in one's life. You know, that's my mom. I got I got the top, you know, my babies, as you can see, very beautiful. I don't I don't, you know, have nothing under that. Mm -mm. You know, if they ain't somebody a 10, do it. I don't want to work with them. And what's what is your style? I've I've talked to a lot of pimps and some are ladies' men, they're smooth talkers, some guys are a little more aggressive. No, that, that, it's not a, uh, I would consider myself as just being a realist and a freestyle. I'm a free spirit, man. Uh, you know, you have your choice. You know, I give you the opposite. If she says she's 43, how old do y'all think he is? He 35. You know, the opportunity to do something for yourself. I like them to go to school. I like them to do their thing. It's all about them. It's all about bringing them up, picking them up, not tearing them down. Okay. You see what okay. I'm saying? Uh, I feel you. you know, I done had a couple, you know, I worked with for maybe a year or something like this. They got out the game, they went to school while they was doing it, and now they, you know, professional career women. Do you think the relationship between a pimp and a prostitute is sometimes a, a, a recreation of the father daughter relationship that a lot of these women had or didn't have? That's a good question. See, man. Mm. But the thing is, a lot of is you have a lot of lonely women out there that want that father figure. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But you, mm -hmm. you know, you have to balance it out. Yes, I'm dad, but I'm also your friend. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Okay. And, you're, and you're, just, you're their business manager. You're their boyfriend. You're their that's, daddy. You're that's their... it, right there. You have to be all things in one. I'm your superhero. That's right, Ohio I'm player. All that in one. Do you guys have children? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Sir? No. No, we don't. That's his girlfriend, bro. You guys been in love before? He ain't pimping. He ain't pimping. That's his girlfriend, Tony. So she talking to him, not yet. Excuse me? Have you been in love? We're in love now. <laughs> love it. We was in love at first sight. And yes, um, I just wanted to make. But I wonder where her son is, though. I ain't gonna fake, bro. I wanted to, like. <clears throat> Hey, River, is he homeless or he have he uh tried to help her out? Cause maybe she could be lying though. I don't know. As far as the cause she hired a motherfucker. She's forty three. She ain't forty three. A together thing, you know. Um, but you know, there's also cases where it's like. You know, a separate a separate thing because like one goes for themselves, but that's not the case. Are, are drugs a part of the picture for you guys? It was once. Uh, she wants to tell the truth, man. What you call drugs? See, alcohol is a drug. So it all depends on what you call a drug. Okay. Never got into anything heavy. She did. You know, drink some. You'll find someone that. She just got beat before she got here. I ain't gonna fake because look at her look. She must definitely just got beat. Okay. I like to do, you know, this or that. We'll put it that way without, you know, incriminating ourselves. Little Mama, if you, if, do, you, do you find being a little high helps you do this every night? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep it real. We're trying to survive, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we have to. We, we don't. Bro, where do we find these people? Do we just. Take people off the street because this nigga clearly, Master J clearly don't want to do this interview. She made him do the interview. Something, and they boyfriend and girlfriend, they gotta be, and they do drugs together. She's not 43, he ain't 35. This shit, nah. Nah, have, something they adding up, know, bro. Paperwork or anything, so we have to try to keep a room. You know what I mean? We have to eat, we have to, so it all goes together. It all goes together with that. He mad. You know, I he mean, sometimes there's he drugs, punching her. sometimes there's not. Sometimes, yeah. you know. And you guys are basically living from hotel room to hotel room? Yeah, we try to, we pretty much try to go to the same place and get a room every day. Um, See? My bad, dog. I just uploaded another one. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. It's 2023. My bad. But anyway, yeah, man. I She not 43. He ain't 35. He ain't no pimp. She ain't no prostitute. All right. She might be a prostitute, but um, he ain't no pimp though, cause um, he getting mad. Uh, they live together. 
they probably had a 19-year-old son together. That's what I'm thinking. He probably lied the whole time. He ain't really saying too much either, though. Thompson depends on what you call a drug. Now, you know what drugs he talking about. But I feel you without incriminating yourself. But, yes. Yes. That room? Yes. I'm, I'm kinda, that's really for us. But she telling I it all right now. my business, like, around it. But like I say, we're trying to survive. We are trying to survive. That's honest. You know, we're looking for, we're trying to, we talk and we're trying to make up plans for other, you know, resources. Do you think you're addicted to this lifestyle? Who? Either of you? I mean, do you think this lifestyle is addicting? Yeah, it, it can be very addicting. And I'm glad that I'm at the point where I'm pretty much over it. You're over it? Yeah, I just, I, I'm ready to just do, do some. He's mad as hell, boy. He finna, as soon as they get back to that room, he finna. What, what was the best time of your life? It was the best time of my life. When she was a little girl. Well, I've had, you know, I guess a few different times. I, that That's kind of hard. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of hard. What was the worst time of your life? The worst time. Separated. Damn. Oh, being separated from from my family. Are you, are you close to your family today? I, I'm trying to be. Did your family not approve of what you're doing? No. Mm. Man, you, get to, you get depressed sometimes, little mama? Yeah. She getting depressed right now. It's a rough way to spend your days, right? Yeah. What do you think most squares don't understand about the game? What, what, what do outsiders not That is one of the oldest professions in the world. And it's, it's to bring joy. They look down, when they look down on, on, you know, on my business associates, you know, it, 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 it bothers me. You know, and I just say, uh, it's it's for their enjoyment. I mean, it's you know they you know like they they dirty, but they're not. They bring in joy. They out to bring joy. You know, at their expense. What the fuck? You see, but a square always go look down until they get bit. Oh. Once wow. they get bit by that forbidden apple, then they more like they shit, they spend more than a banker. <laughs> is, is sometimes uh, is it sometimes the not exactly just sex for money? Sometimes you're getting the watch or the jewelry or the wallet or something like that money from the guy. Um, Does that happen? I, I mean, it has. You know, Damn, but bro. it's not really about that. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, there are good times where you don't have to really. I I don't have to. I don't. I'll be with someone <laughs> and they'll spend money on me for a while, and I'm not. I don't even do anything. Mm -hmm. Just okay. to have probably, she, I think she has See, surgery right Just to like, be a bit. Yeah, a lot of men out there just want somebody to talk to, have a pretty lady on their side. They fantasize. Damn, you know, she cock eyed. They go she home with their wife or their boyfriend or whoever. Damn, bro. She fucked what's, up. What's the though. craziest thing you've seen in your years of doing this? Oh, my, 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 my. Master J and his prostitute. Well, I see. <sighs> I see. Well, That's why I'm naming this video. Master J and his prostitute. Oh, man, bro. Oh, shit. Uh, none of my business associates that is, but Oof. I've seen women get mutilated. I've seen men get, you know, toe up. I, you know, it's just... It's, I mean, wild. it's wild. That's why you have to pick and choose. And I always ask my associates, just don't jump into any car on a, you know, on a dream. Just don't jump into any car. Be Damn, picky. Bro. Be choosy. You see what I'm saying? Because no, so being know, picky. Who knows? A cycle could be a past. Mm -hmm. No, Mama, do you find you have to use your intuition sometimes with mm -hmm. with customers? Mm -hmm. yeah. Other guys that you'll just say no to? Yeah. Yeah. How, how has the game changed? You've been doing this for a while. What, uh, yeah, the, the flashy dressers and the fancy cars and all that, that, that yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it's a widespread. I mean, the way uh, 
the cost of living and all that with everything has changed the economy. Technology too. Yeah, the economy has changed. Now, you know, uh, the women is getting much younger to where that's how we, you know, I come up with going out of state, you know, state to state to state, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just getting, and and the drugs have a lot to do with it. The addictions is driving a lot of women out there. You have a lot more renegade women out there, you know, so called working for their own, uh, this or that, mm. you know, and this, it's just, it's not the same as the old days. And you, you guys will travel to other states? Yeah, we've been we've been places, but we but you know on business, but we yet to go. You know, like you Damn, said, we we come down to our retirement days. Now it's time to get back. Little picket fence house with a picket fence. Mm -hmm. All right. Lots of kids. All right, Master Jay and uh, Little Mama, thank you so much for talking with me, and good luck with where you guys go from here. And thank you for yeah, having welcome. us. Thank you very much. much. Pleasure, pleasure. Damn, bro. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> sad, 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 sad. She's not 43, though. He ain't 35. That was just a joke. But all jokes aside, bro, that shit sad. Um, yeah, man. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, just like in the last video, keep commenting down below on what videos y'all videos want me to watch. And, uh, yeah, man, run them numbers up, man, and y'all have a blessed evening.